Welcome to Birch and Oak Outdoors. I'm James, and today I'm building out my tackle box. So as you might have seen in a previous video, I was rebuilding my tackle box for this year. So the last few days, I've added some items. One thing I did is I stopped at Canadian Tire, picked up Lucky Strike Original. I got the Red Devil, the red and white. I also picked up another uh, Lucky Strike Rainbow. I bought an extra one so I had a spare and also just in case Dad was coming down so I get a chance to, uh, if we needed it, I would uh, have another one so he could use it because the day before I caught three fish with this lure and we actually went out today and with that lure I caught another four fish. All too small to keep but catching fish. But my spare I actually gave to Dad to take home. So he has this enough to pick up another one. I want one or two to keep in my box. I like that lure. Bought a measuring tape. So for the fish that actually have size limits, I will uh, stay legal. I just went to Canadian Tire, found the best deal. This one was 45, 50% off. I got it for $5.99. So it's pretty good right there. That was. It's good. And today I went and made a quick stop at Cabela's. So I bought a lipper from Repella. And obviously that just clips in the most of the fish. Holds them. So uh, for some fish, you, you definitely don't want your hand in there like the pickerel. Um, I had other fish that I caught that were just small and I wasn't keeping them. And... Trying to hold them without crushing them and not dropping them on the ground um, can be a chore. So I figured, pick this up. Jeff has one. His is a little larger. His is the Cabela brand. But the jaw on this is a little narrower. So I'm hoping that will work well in the, the most of a small fish. Uh, they have a smaller one. I was going to get that. But the width is the same. It's just the, the depth of that hook is a little smaller. So hopefully this will work. I can handle them less, possibly do less damage to their skin and the slime on their skin, skin and then put them back in and they can survive and grow and catch them later and put them in my pan. This year, I didn't even know if I needed it. I kind of wanted it. It was on sale for about, it, what was it, 560? It was about 40 some percent off. It's a eight in one tool. It has the pliers, knife, and all that. Uh, most of it I don't need. I, I, I picked up a set of needle nose pliers. So I don't really need that, but it has scissors. It has a small saw and two screwdrivers and things like that. It might come in handy. It was cheap. I just felt like buying it. I bought these at Canadian Tire. And... I was looking for just something's good. I bought these ones that said they're corrosion resistant, they're coated. Um, the only thing, it has a smooth grip. It's rubberized, so there is nice grip to it, dry. <clears throat> Haven't had an issue yet. I've used it a few times. I'm just wondering if my hands are slick or too wet, if it's going to slip. Uh, Ugly Stick has a really nice, thick uh, rubber bands, really easy to grip. It looks like it'd be great with wet, slimy hands. But we'll see. These were less than $10. So give them a shot. So far, I'm happy with them. But this is it for now. Just uh, some small upgrades. And as I go, I'll keep adding things as I need them. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.